Carlos, we're gonna get married next week. Look, Liz, here's another report about Karen Marsh. Listen, Karen Marsh, the latest. At her London hotel today, Miss Marsh told reporters she might retire. She said she couldn't make up her mind. She said she would have to ask her future husband. She said her future husband would not let her make another film. Then she introduced us to Carlos and told us they would get married next week. That's sensational news, isn't it, Kate? It certainly is. He'll be her sixth husband. 接下来我们进入句型训练。来看看，在不同的场景中如何来转述他人所说的话，请特别注意助动词和其他动词的用法。Lesson one hundred and thirty-six. He said that he. He told me that he. Leave. I'll leave tomorrow. What did he say? He said that he would leave tomorrow. What did he tell you? He told me that he would leave tomorrow. Do this maths problem. 做这道数学题 I can't do this maths problem. What did he say? He said that he couldn't do this maths problem. What did he tell you? He told me that he couldn't do this maths problem. Return. I may return at six o'clock. What did she say? She said that she might return at six o'clock. What did she tell you? She told me that she might return at six o'clock. Open. Penny will open the window. What did he say? He said that Penny would open the window. Afford. They can afford the car. What did she tell you? She told me that they could afford the car. Come. George may come tomorrow. What did she say? She said that George might come tomorrow. 下面我们来总结一下如何来转述他人所说的话，也就是如何把直接引语变为间接引语。分两种情况：首先，如果主句是一般现在时，那么从句中只需要在人称上做相应的变化，时态可以保持不变。而如果主句是一般过去时，那么从句中除了人称的变化之外，时态还要发生相应的变化。比如说，一般现在时变为一般过去时，现在进行时变为过去进行时，现在完成时变为过去完成时。另外，还请大家特别注意助动词和其他动词的一些变化。好了，今天的课就到这了。Thank you and see you next time.